Hello. So I have this HP Elite Book 840G5 G6, whichever model you have. Um, and the keyboard is bad. You can see it's missing some of the keys here and here and a couple of places here. So um, I'm going to show you how to replace this keyboard. First of all, you have to get your keyboard and then we're going to take out all the screws at the back of this laptop. So with your normal Phillips screwdriver, we're going to take out all of the screws at, at the back of this laptop. All right, so we've taken out all the screws. The next screw we want to take out are these two screws hidden inside here. There's these two screws that is hidden here, one on this side, and there is one on the other side. So don't forget it when you are working on, on yours. Without removing this screw, you won't be able to take out the back case. All right, I haven't removed these two screws. There's no other screw we need to remove, so we just pry it open from the side. Get a flat screwdriver and just gently pry it open to come off easily. So you don't have to worry about the screws falling off. The screws are attached to the back case, so they won't fall off. Alright, so two screws are holding the keyboard to the chassis. So there is one screw here very close to the processor area. And there is one here close to the fan area. I'll show you where that is right now. So we're going to take out the two screws. One here, we'll take it out. So we take out these screws here, close to the processor area. And then we'll take out the second screw very close to the cooling fan area. So you will have recognized this screw by um, the letters around the screw. They wrote KB there, which I think signify, signifies keyboard. So when you remove the two screws, the next thing you want to do is to get a screwdriver. That's hole where you punch out the um, screws from. You are going to use a screw to... Uh, your screwdriver to punch down that area so that it's going to compress the the keyboard for you to be able to put your hands under and pry open the the keyboard so how i was able to remove this was that that hole where i lose out the screws from what i did was to use my screwdriver press the um, keyboard through that hole at the back and it's going to compress the um, keyboard so that i can put my hands on that at the front side and remove the keyboard all right so i have a new keyboard here this is what i'm going to be using you can order this one online or from your local store if you don't know how to get this you can just hit me up in the comment section i will show you um, where you can be linked to where you can be able to get the exact kind of keyboard so we have to flex here one flex is for the keys and the other flex is for the keyboard light as you already know this keyboard comes with keyboard light so i what i want to do is to fix in the keyboard light flex first because it is longer so it is safer to fix it in first so that to have enough room to fix in the um, keyboard flex that is a bit shorter so when you're fixing the keyboard light flex, ensure that it is facing down. That means the metal contact part, you will see the metal contact part should face down so that it can make contact with the with the um, contact from the motherboard. All right. So after that, you close 
you close it up. So the same thing we're going to do on the other side also when we're through with this. The metal contact should be facing down. Alright, so this is done. What we're going to do is to close up this back case. The screws are already there, so you don't have to worry about losing the screws because they don't come off the back panel. They are attached to the back panel even after losing it out. So we're just going to um, tighten the screws all of them. All right, so this is done. Let's see what we have been able to do. So um, we're going to power this on and see. You can see that uh, the keyboard light came on from the reflection on the screen. So I'm going to, these areas, I'm going to close them in, just the edges. You can use your fingers to do that or you can use your screwdriver, the tip of a screwdriver, just to close up the edges of the of the keyboard. So just press the edges side by side around the whole keyboard, so as to uh, ensure that the keyboard is firm and fits in properly into its slot. All right, so let's see if keyboard works. So I'm going to type in a couple of keys here. Uh, see, so all of the keys are working. All of the keys are working. So if you're fixing your own keyboard, you notice that when you try to type in, it is not responding or some of the keys are not responding. You might want to go back, open up the keyboard flex area and then remove the flex, fix it back in properly. Probably it is not well fitted inside. That is why it is giving you that sign. If this video was helpful, remember to share. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.